thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to do a 2019 roundup. So these are all of the items that I purchased this year in 2019. And I wanted to share the ones that definitely stood out as like some of the best pieces that I bought and then some of the worst pieces that didn't get along so well with. I just thought this would be fun to do that's hyper focused on the items that I added to my collection this year rather than it being across my collection um, because I have previously done a like luxury best and worst video as well and that's just across all of the years and all the things that I have but these are specific to the pieces that I purchased this year. So I have five best items and three not so best items. And so I will like interchange which one, I'll do one good, one bad, and things like that. And then I have a couple honorary mentions as well. The first best item that I want to share is in this box. And I have worn these so much this year, even though I didn't have them for a long time. They're these earrings right here. And I picked these up when I was in Hawaii, so I got them in September, and yet I've worn these a ton. And every time I wear them, I just like feel really good in them, <laughs> if that makes sense. And they also are not too heavy. I can't wear really heavy earrings because my ear piercing is actually very, very low on my earlobe. And so if I have heavy earrings, um, they'll they'll drag a little too much on the bottom of my ear and it's just too much for me to handle I thought these might be a little bit on the heavy side, but they really aren't I can wear them for a whole day and It might be towards the end of the day of like wearing them for many 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 hours where I'll take them off and put them in my bag but otherwise like for going out to dinner or going out to a party or something like these are perfectly fine I was a little hesitant because they have the little pearls in them um, but I, I just really really like these earrings I really love that they're in my collection and I wear them pretty much non-stop then for my first bad item is actually going to be this Dior wallet so I think I hauled this in like the beginning of the year Jan or Feb some sometime then and um, my boyfriend started using this wallet right away and as you can see um, there is no more zipper pull on this item it's like just the nub so what first happened was um, you know when you have a zipper there's there's a pull tag on the zipper so what first started to happen was at sometimes he would close or open it and the tag would come off um, the zipper because there's like a little hook here that normally the zipper would go in and fit inside but the the hook was had a space that was just just big enough for the zipper pull to come out and so that was happening for a little bit where he would then put it back in um, for the zipper to work and he probably used it like that for a few months and then <laughs> the whole hook part just completely came off. So now you can't even add the handle back even if you want, like the zipper pull back even if you wanted to. It came off and then he started to just like manually try to open and close this zipper, which is like not helpful at all. Then he got a different card holder while we were in Hawaii. We just got one from Hermes because we were like, we're done with this. So there's nothing wrong with the actual wallet and the actual like design is still like my favorite layout for a card wallet because you can fit so much in this kind of style. I don't know if we just ha were unlucky and got like a faulty one that just came off really easily, but it's really cute. I love I still love this this design, this motif with the B. Like I said, I still like this layout. It's very very um it's very very user friendly but it's just the zipper was a, a big disappointment. And then we mentioned it once at a Dior like men's store and they were just like, yeah, I don't know, like that could be considered regular wear and tear. You could bring it in and see if we can get it repaired for you. But we were kind of over it at that point. It's been less than a year using this wallet. And so who says that's part of normal wear and tear for the freaking zipper to like come off? That's just not, 
that does, doesn't sound right to me. So this is unfortunately one of the not so great items that I purchased this year. The next best item that I purchased this year is actually this Chanel black dress. It's at the dry cleaner, so I'm going to insert a picture of what it looks like. But as you can see, I've worn it a number of times. I've also worn it a number of different ways and I've worn it to a lot of different occasions. It really is a versatile dress that I'm really glad I added to my collection and I'm sure it's one that I will be able to continue to wear. This year, 2019, is the first time I've really added some Chanel ready to wear pieces and I've, I've actually added a number of them this year. I'm kind of shocked at how many I did end up purchasing. Um, either pre-loved or from the boutique and this dress by far stands out as my best purchase so far. I've purchased some other things from the boutique that I'm like, oh, maybe I didn't really need those, but I'll still wear them and I'll still hold on to them because I think a lot of the value for Chanel ready to wear is when you keep them and you hold on to them and you wear them year over year. So um, that's what I'm, I'm planning to do with all of my Chanel ready to wear pieces. But this one in particular has already stood out as one that I'm already um, getting a lot of use out of and just enjoy wearing. For my next not so great purchase, I will share um, these. So these are a pair of um, like vintage Dior earrings that I purchased when I was in Chicago and they look like so they are so like they're really pretty and they're very very like glamorous in like a wonderful way and um i i put them in this not so great category mostly because um i haven't really worn them <laughs> i wore them like once and while i was sitting down for dinner one came off my ear so i was like oh that's not that great um and then i noticed this other one is missing a rhinestone oh i have the rhinestone in here these weren't terribly expensive um and i'm sure i will continue to have like specific outfits where this looks great in but i think these are going to have to be more like short duration wear <laughs> because otherwise i think i'd risk just like losing one so yeah so this is just one that stood out as okay i purchased it i was really excited to have it but um you know i'm not getting as much wear as i thought i would and i'm just glad that they weren't you know like full retail or anything and that they were a vintage piece that i can you know hold on to and and find different ways to incorporate the next best item is actually this Hermes Avalon blanket right here. So not only is this the throw that I have on my sofa as like semi-decoration, uh, but I actually, I use it when I'm sitting on the sofa and it gets a little chilly. I like to like just put that around. It is very cozy and very warm. I do have several Barefoot Dreams throws. And I love those as well. I have them on my on my bed and they are super soft, the Barefoot Dreams. They're super, super, super soft and super like plush, right? They're wonderful. And I haven't gotten rid of my Barefoot Dreams throws at all. I still have them and I actually like to have them handy as bedding for uh, when we have like folks who are staying over because it's like very lightweight and it works very well if you you know have to be sleeping on an air mattress or something like that like it works it just works really well for those situations. I try to think about why I really like this blanket and you know it's very warm to begin with. Um, it is, I believe, cashmere and wool blend. So it's extremely, extremely warm. And then there's also a weight to it. And I, I don't own any weighted blankets, um, but I've heard that they help relieve anxiety and they can help give you a very like warm and cozy feeling because it feels like someone's like embracing you or hugging you. And maybe that's what I get from this blanket. It's not a weighted blanket by any means, but like if you were to compare it to something like a Barefoot Dreams, which is super light, this is not as light. It has its own weight. Like the Barefoot Dreams can sometimes get a little clingy, if you know what I mean. So like you'll like drape it over you, but it will it will cling onto like 
parts of your legs and things like that. So you have to like really like work to like spread it out. Um, this item, you don't have to do that because it's a little stiff and because it kind of has, has its own like integrity, you can just kind of like pull it off and it will start like unfolding and like just being this like beautifully plush blanket around you um, that starts keeping you warm almost as soon as you drape it. That's why I think, you know, not only is it beautiful on the sofa, it is also very warm, very practical. The only thing I want to note is that it does, um, it doesn't shed, but it does kind of, it can get a little linty like on your black clothes. And I wear a ton of black clothes, so I'm kind of used to it. And not just from this blanket, but from like everything in my house. But if that's something that really, really bothers you, then I just wanted you to note that uh, it might be better to get a darker color if that's the case. But otherwise, I think that's like so worth it. <laughs> and a, just a wonderful, wonderful piece to have as a, a, in your home. The next and last not so great item is actually in this box right here. So this is a Mew Mew box. These are a pair of earrings that I purchased this year, and they look like this. Now, don't get me wrong, I love these earrings, and I've actually worn them pretty frequently. I've worn them with a lot of different outfits. They can be casual, they could be a little more dressed up, and so I really, really like these earrings. There's nothing actually wrong with these earrings, but why I put this in this not so great category is because I don't necessarily think they're worth it at full price. If I were to do it again, I would keep an eye out on Mew Mew earrings, either on like the Outnet or on secondhand markets like the Real Real and try to snag them there. I'm also somebody who spends an extortionate amount of money on Chanel costume jewelry, so like, <laughs> is that always worth it? Maybe not so, but just, just for what these are like they're beautifully made but if you can't basically what I'm saying is if you can get them on sale or if you can get them at a lower price I would definitely go for that because I don't necessarily think these are worth the 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 full price that they were but otherwise they sparkle beautifully they um, are very well made out oh, one thing I wanted to mention is my hair doesn't really get caught in in between all of the crystals I was a little bit concerned about that um, Because how annoying is it like when you have those big earrings and like your hair just keeps getting in it and you, you can't even like see the earring this doesn't do that uh, at least it doesn't do that for me and my hair, but um, so all of that's great It's just I just don't really think it's worth it at full price so now I have the last two best items left and um, second to last I want to mention my Hermes Click Clack H. I kind of rediscovered my love for these Click bracelets. I mentioned previously that I had one that was the Click H. So it was the thinnest version. I had it with the black enamel and the gold hardware and I got it in the GM size because at the time I wanted to wear this with my watch and wear them together so I wanted it to be a little bit further back than straight on like the main part of my wrist and my watch at the time was also a little bit bigger so it made more sense for me to get the GM size eventually then I started to try to wear it on its own and it was just too big for my wrist it was more like a bangle and I didn't really care for that so eventually I sold it then I was like oh I think I want to add another H bracelet to my collection but I think I want to go like the slightly thicker size because the thin one I also felt like didn't look so great on its own on my wrist it looks great as like a layering piece to have a lot of other items with but otherwise like for my wrist it just seemed like it wasn't like the right proportion so I was looking into adding a click clack H bracelet so the thicker size it honestly wasn't one that uh, like was always front of mind because they were they're just so expensive honestly why i include this one is because i managed to get this one at the hermes sale and it is a beautiful color and so totally worth it at 50 percent off i have to say this is definitely something that i haven't had in my collection for very very long but i have been wearing it a ton I just really like having this in my collection and it has like rekindled my my appreciation for these enamel bangles. And last but not least, one of my best items that I purchased this year is this Gucci Marmot Super Mini in the white. I wanted to make sure I mentioned this because I used this of course for my trip to Hawaii and I, I bought it 
in anticipation of that trip, if you will. Um, but I was really impressed with this piece. Um, it actually fits a lot. It is versatile in, in the ways you can carry it. I think this is really the best like airport bag. You can have a carry-on and you can have a larger bag, of course, to be your personal item. And so this can fit inside. But while you're in the actual airport terminal, you don't need to be carrying your massive bag around with you with all the stuff in it, you know, like on your body. So uh, this is just nice and convenient to make sure you have like your, your phone, your wallet, and any key essentials that you need in here while all the other stuff can be in like a much bigger bag. So I really like this. It's very hard wearing. There are no scuffs on it. I took it to the beach and nothing. So I'm like, I'm just really impressed. I like it and I'm glad it's in my collection. I think it'll be a piece that I end up um, using a lot for uh, a lot of different occasions, like running out for errands, but also going out for brunch and going out for a quick drink or something. Like this, this can be very, very versatile. So this is another great piece that I added to my collection this year. And of course, I have a couple honorary mentions. I've been able to add some dream bags to my collection this year. And of course, first and foremost is my Birkin. This is a Birkin 30. I would scored this in Hawaii and I am super super thrilled that I have this in my collection I still can't believe that I have this in my collection this I decided to put in as an honorary mention rather than it being the best purchase because this is more of like a milestone this is more a personal milestone for me and a personal like accomplishment for me rather than it being you know a, a, a good purchase for me to make because I hope that distinction makes sense um, so that's why I wanted to make an honorary mention of course of my yellow Birkin here and then the other honorary mention I wanted to make was for this gray flap right here so this is a small flap from Chanel it is their classic flap it's in this gray color that came out for this fall it was part of the 19b series and it is in a lambskin but it's actually very 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 tough in like a good like hard wearing way this is also a dream bag that i wanted to add to my collection i've been wanting to have this kind of a beautiful cool tone gray in my collection for a long long time and i am so stoked that i was able to get it not only in my dream color but in a size that i don't have in my collection so it expanded the collection that way but i don't necessarily think this was the best purchase that i made so I, i'm planning on doing a follow-up video on this item so stay tuned for that and i can go into more detail as to why i don't necessarily think this was like the best best purchase of 2019 but you know it's still a piece that is going to stay in my collection it's not going anywhere <laughs> all right so that's everything that is my 2019 year roundup of the best and not so best purchases that i made this year I hope you found it not only entertaining but helpful as well in case you were looking or considering any of these items. I think it's helpful to hear how some other people get along with these pieces to see if, if it would fit your lifestyle as well. But if you have any questions on any of these items, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. So the year is coming to an end and I just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody who has come along this journey with me and has joined this community. I just really enjoy having the open dialogue around um, something that I am passionate about and something that I like to talk about. I thank everybody for a wonderful 2019 and here's to a, another great year together. But on that note, if you like this kind of content and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join this community. I post new videos every Sunday and sometimes I have some bonus videos during the week. So until next time, bye!